I'm Laura Bennett. As a parent, you go out of your way for your kids all the time, packing their favourite lunch, driving them across the city. Wouldn't it be nice if they thanked you for it? Joining us on the couch to help bring gratitude into our homes, psychologist and parenting expert Colette Smart. Great to have you. Thank you for having me. When we talk about gratitude, what are we referring to? Well, I think the easiest thing is we know it when it's not there. Uh, when we don't see it, we recognise it. And we all know people who are bitter. But really, when we talk about gratitude, it's about being vulnerable. Mm. When I, and I say vulnerable because we need to be other-focused and we need to go out of our way to open ourselves up to show appreciation to somebody else. And that can be tricky. It can feel uncomfortable sometimes to do that. But it's really about looking for the positives. And I find gratitude something hopeful in our lives. And, and I think it's so important to have more hope in all of our homes. Yeah. And as we value others, it is, is also beneficial to us. How is thankfulness and gratitude important to each of us individually? So there's some fascinating links on gratitude being linked to well-being. So it can be broken down into three areas. We, we see something uh, that I call a powerful relationship tool. So I've just mentioned how it, it enhances our relationships with other people because we're vulnerable, because we go out of our way to thank somebody else. And so... Obviously, then we have uh, people feeling cared for and, mm. and appreciated. So your relationships are enhanced. The second one then is we see physical health benefit. So it's a physical health tool. We're actually seeing things like uh, lowered inflammation in people's bodies. Wow. Uh, and we see it, improvements in sleep, which stands to reason because we're actually, when we're lying awake, awake stressing, mm. rather than feeling stressed, we're actually practicing thankfulness or gratitude and so we feel more relaxed, which leads on to the third tool, which is your mental health tool. Right. And we're seeing increases in resilience in general because people are less stressed, they're more optimistic and they're just happier in life. Yeah, and I remember a couple of years ago doing a gratefulness jar that I found a really, a really good way to actually start to develop some of this in my own life. What would some of your recommendations be if we do want to be more thankful, be more gr grateful? Well, you've spoken about something that actually is well known. There's a study that, that showed when people practised being grateful for three things every day for about a two-week period, they actually saw changes in the brain pathways. Uh, they saw a difference in, in the way people's brains functioned. A and so really my, my advice to parents and families is use that. Sit at dinner times, have chats with your children. What were you grateful for today? Mm. What were you grateful for with each other? Uh, I've suggested using things like whiteboards where you put up a big whiteboard of what you're grateful for each family member about gratitude journals, writing thank you notes, putting thank you notes in your children's lunch boxes or under their pillows uh, and sending loved ones a text saying thank you, thanks for what you did today. Very practical Colette, thank you. Thank you for having me. And if you want more parenting tips and expert advice, follow The Table TV on Instagram and Facebook. Mm -hmm.